Andrew, it's a pleasure to be back at the Nuclear AMRC. Uh, for those engineers that maybe don't know what you provide here, what do you actually do? Um, we're a collaborative research and development centre focused on uh, trying to improve manufacturing methods, predominantly for the nuclear industry, uh, but for wider industry as well. When you say uh, wider industry, uh, a lot of people would actually think that nuclear, uh, maybe nuclear power for instance, but is, is there other forms? Yeah, we, we focus heavily on um, nuclear power sector, uh, so civil nuclear, but also waste management, uh, storage facilities, looking at waste containers, all the manufacturing challenges around large components and difficult to machine, difficult to manufacture and join components for the nuclear industry, but there's overspill into other sectors, into large, uh, large manufacturing challenges for aerospace and for automotive and for transport and all different areas. Now, now we're going to talk about uh, a collaborative partnership with Starag, with one of the, one of the biggest VTLs, I think, in, in this type of uh, uh, sort, sort of sector. However, I since I've last been here, I've seen a lot of smaller machines. Is that because you're, you're winning work, let's say, not necessarily just from the OEMs? Yeah, we're looking to uh, provide a, a research and development or um, a manufacturing improvement programme for all sectors of industry. So from uh, large OEM companies down to SMEs. In fact, SMEs are a real focus for us and have been from the start. Um, but so we try and have machines and capability here to help all sectors of UK manufacturing. Uh, so we, yeah, we've got large machines such as a large VTL and I think it is probably the largest machine of that type in a research facility, not just in the UK but probably anywhere in the world. Uh, we'll have to check that fact, check that fact, but it's probably true. Uh, but yeah, down to smaller machines so we can do uh, prototyping, we can do um, process development work and we can test advanced new uh, te technologies such as different coolant systems systems which is an area that we're looking at currently. Now you've had a, a fantastic or the AMRC have had a fantastic relationship and collaboration with Starag for over 20 years. When you look at this type of machine the VTL uh, that you've got here is that based on the relationship across the board or is it really based on the technology that they're offering? It's both really. Um, Starag bring high quality high capability machine tools but they also bring a background of um, experience in the industry so they've supplied machines into the kind of companies that we work with they uh, large and small companies so it's not just machines of this scale for very large companies they provide smaller machines for SMEs and high technology machines for SMEs and OEM so so they've got the technology they've got the capability and they've got the knowledge as well to help us with the work that we need to do to help the companies it's quite interesting when you see some of the uh, components uh, certainly sitting on the bed behind us you know they're the type of products that you you can't afford to go wrong now we 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 focus on right first time manufacturing so everything we do goes through several stages of um, programming, 3D simulation, we use digital twins for all our machine tools now in, uh, in, in NC code simulation systems so all our processes are proven and checked offline before they go onto the machine so right first time and multiple operations at a single setup are key to the challenges of large component, man well all component manufacturing, but particularly large component manufacturing in, in this day and age. And I would imagine that uh, you know, some of the actual uh, materials that we're working are quite challenging as well. Yeah, typically um, high value forgings, high value castings, um, uh, high integrity alloy steels, stainless steels, components which are clad with stainless steel or uh, 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 heat resistant super alloys. Um, yeah, all challenging materials, all with their own different problems and challenges to machine and different solutions generally as well. And I suppose that uh, you've got the might of the uh, Starag technical guys that obviously if you do need help on the machine for a typical sort of application, they're here to support you. Yeah, they can provide um, application support offline and at the centre, training as well. Um, uh, personnel from the nuclear, nuclear MRC have been to Germany for training and also their trainers have been to us so it's definitely a two-way uh, um, route and we also help Starag when they're looking to expand um, their portfolio into, into OEMs, into, uh, into SMEs, we can help them with where to place the products, uh, how to develop the products uh, or, their, or their offerings and uh, help them to um, show advanced manufacturing capability into their customer base. And for uh, any companies manufacturing OEMs for instance that are looking to outsource nuclear parts, what would it be your message to them? Um, I think the, the, uh, the capabilities of every company has got to be looked into 
very carefully when you're looking to work in the nuclear industry. So you need to make sure that any company that you're looking to use to supply into the nuclear industry, the codes and standards, and the nuclear AMRC has got a fantastic fit for nuclear programme. So any company that's looking to expand into the nuclear sector, uh, yeah, look at the fit for nuclear programme, look at engaging with the nu nuclear AMRC through that, and that will help you to understand that the steps that you need to take. But also we've got a great database now of companies which are on the Fit for Nuclear programme who have already either been through or are part way through that programme. So it's a really good way of introducing yourself to the nuclear industry and the challenges of a highly regulated, highly quality controlled industry such as nuclear nuclear manu manufacturing sector. And when you look at collaboration, it starts with the uh, machine tool manufacturers and Sterak, you've got three machines here. So yeah, yeah. And, and, and yeah, that's, that says, uh, that, that points to the confidence we've got in Starag's machine, but also in where they place their machines in the marketplace. So they've got a, a range of machines with a range of technologies which can be adapted and scaled uh, to suit nearly every industry sector.